To begin, press the Escape button on your display until the main menu is viewable. Using the up and down arrows, select Setup. Once Setup is highlighted, press the Enter key. Within the Settings window, use the down arrow to scroll through the options. By pressing the down arrow, the cursor will automatically go to the second column. Highlight Alarms and press the Enter key. You are now in the Alarm Thresholds menu. The threshold you are setting is the minimum acceptable range. When the UPS falls below this range, an alarm will be created and the alarm LED will light and an audible alarm will sound. To select an option, use the arrow keys to highlight it and then press the Enter key. When you press the Enter key, notice the up and down arrow next to the value. Using the up and down arrow keys will allow you to modify this value by stepping through the available options. To lock in the setting you want, press the Enter key. To back out of this setting, press the Escape key. The Redundancy option allows you to specify how many redundant power modules you have available. Each power module provides 10 kVA of power. If you have three power modules and your load is 25 kVA, then you have no redundancy because all three modules are needed to provide that amount of power. If you have four power modules with the same load, setting the redundancy to one will cause an alert to sound if one module fails or your load goes above 30 kVA. The load option is the exception to the minimum value setting in that you are setting the high value here and being alerted when the load goes above it. As an example, if you have a 40 kVA system with five power modules, you will always have a redundant module unless one fails. In this case, you may want to be alerted when you approach capacity on the system. You could set the load threshold to be 30 kVA, and when the load rises above this value, you will be alerted. This would be the same as setting your redundancy to 2 with 5 working modules. Once you go over 30 kVA of load, you are no longer N plus 2 and only have the fifth module in case of failure. The runtime option will alert you to when your available battery time remaining falls below the set threshold. A common misconception here is to set the threshold to what you want your runtime to optimally be, say one hour. If your normal fully charged runtime is one hour, setting the threshold to this would cause multiple alerts whenever the system goes to battery. You want to set this option to alert you with enough time remaining to be able to shut down equipment safely before the batteries fully discharge. The default system low battery shutdown is at 10% of capacity. If you have one hour of runtime and your system goes to battery, it will give you a low battery shutdown alarm at 10 minutes remaining. This will give you a couple of minutes to shut down equipment. If you need more time, you would set your threshold to alert you prior to this point. Once you make a change on this screen, it is implemented immediately. Press Escape to return to the previous screen. 